right at your feet. That's the funny part, isn't it? Two on the last one. Let's see if we can move the second one. Yeah. So put it all the way under there. Right up against that pond. See, one thing about this, it takes a couple passes to catch these fish, too. You know, first time through, we really didn't catch them. And this is our third pass back through this area, so... This gives you an idea of how much you have to work it. Last time it had to actually go all the way under like that. You had to pull that line down. Sir, <laughs> T Docs BFL coming up in four or five days. Sit right here, win the tournament, come back the next week, take the Bass Master Weekend Series. We can show you this spot. Now, we want to show you an example of how good these X-point hooks are. Look at that bass. Look at that Potomac hog. Beautiful five pound fish. Right here on the Potomac. Would look great in the tournament. The hook is so sharp, we were afraid we would hurt the bass because we cannot get it out. It actually punk it, it uh, punctured the, his bone on his nose right here. And it's so tough we can't get it out, so we'll just cut the hook and we'll let it rust out because we don't want to hurt a fish of this quality this time of year. Let's let her go. I don't want to hit this dock here. Look at the size of that fish. There she goes. Now tell them what we got out of here, how many fish? One came off of this particular one, but there's another one just like this where we caught three off of that one post. Including the five plus pounder. And there's two other ones that are just like it, but for some reason they haven't produced a fish and we've worked them just as many times. Sometimes there's a pattern within a pattern, man. It's funny. 